Hi, this is Byron Brown. I'm the pastor at First Baptist Church of Inverness, and I'm excited to be with you here today. I want to talk to you for a minute about the glory of God. When you think about what that means, there's a passage that I, I want to, to read to you that, that helps me understand it. Romans chapter 11, verse 33 through 36. Romans 11, 33 says, Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Or who has given a gift to him that he might be repaid? For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The amazing thing about the glory of God is one that he is a jealous God and no one else deserves it. But I want you to think about what he's saying here. The book of Romans is, is pretty well uh, outlined by Paul writing to the church in Rome saying, we have a problem. We're sinners by nature and by choice. But because of God's love for us, he came to save us. He died for us so that we can live for him. And because of that, he starts to grow us up. Imagine trying to go into a, uh, to, to a new home, moving into a home and just living in the doorway, never going into the living room or the bathroom or, the, or any of the, uh, the other rooms in the house, just staying right at the front door. When you're saved, that's just the beginning. And Romans talks about how our new life in Christ, we get to grow up. We get to become more conformed into the image of God. Then he starts to talk about the sovereignty of God. And we start to have these questions. We all do. God, why do you let bad things happen to good people? Or God, why do I get so many good things when so many other people don't? And, and you wonder all of these things. And you get to the end of Romans chapter 11. And he says, yes, there are going to be questions. And you're not going to have all the answers now. Not on this side of glory. But I want to tell you something. God's wisdom and knowledge, his ways are so much more greater than yours. Sometimes you can't understand what he's doing, but all the time you can trust who he is. You may not always get it, but he's got it. You see, it says, who's known the mind of the Lord? Who's been his counselor? Who's ever given to him that someone would have to repay? We're, 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 we can never expect him to be indebted to us. We always are dependent upon him. So from him, through him, and to him are all things. You see, that's the point. It's all about him. And so the verse ends, to him be glory forever. You see, you may not know all the answers. None of us do. You may have issues. We all do. But the one thing you can be sure of is that he deserves the glory because it's all about him. Everything was created for his glory through him and to him. So that's how we're called to live. What a wonderful way to be. I hope that you have a church home. If you don't, I hope you'll consider joining us. But please know this, God loves you.